last we got the tools panel up here um, I'll put up a a uh, a picture and basically it'll have the the names of each of the tools and with the hotkey next to it I'll put it on right up and then I'll add just talk about them a little bit and then there will be tutorials for each of the tools later on so here's the picture and we've got the selection tool which you use to pretty much just select points select your picture you'll you use that to move things uh, around the uh, planes um, the next one over is the hand tool oh by the way the selection tool is V that's uh, you always want you want to you you want to know this because it makes your project go by so faster and you can work a lot faster when you can work faster and get things done you're automatically better than the person or you're automatically a little bit more ahead of the person that doesn't know their hotkeys I found this to be true a lot of times when I've been working in studios and even on my own um, then the next one over is the hand tool you use that to move your view around um, let me import uh, a picture here we can kind of see what this stuff does so the hand tool you can move your viewer basically around and um, here's the hand tool you see you can move your picture around if you move it around and you need to if you want it to go back control Z does undo or you can do edit and then undo right here at the top you can see the hotkey is control Z that's another one you want to uh, remember to uh, memorize the hotkey you'll get you'll you'll figure it out easily um, the next one is zoom which is Z and you can just use that to zoom in or you hold um, alt and it zooms out if you click but I'll get more into the zooming and all that stuff in different tutorial rotate is the next one that's a W and you basically just rotate um, here's for here's your camera tools you you can add uh, cameras um, into your into your uh, video and then use those to look through to look at different things in 3d space and this is what you use to help control them this is the the uh, pan behind tool um, I'll get into that more often uh, you don't use that a whole a whole lot but you do use it a decent amount the square here that's the mask tool and on some of these if you click and hold you'll get more tools that pop up but these are a different kind of masks that you can have and Q is the hotkey the pen tool is good for um, rotoscoping or cutting out or making masks that aren't in the mask tool um, that is uh, hotkey G you have the text tool here and um, it bring when you click on the text tool it actually brings up the uh, text uh, box over here and then you'll want to use that with the paragraph box here to uh, create text so hello the there I don't think there is a hotkey for that one the next one is the uh, brush tool use that for doing paint strokes and stuff like that we'll get to that later the next one is the clone stamp tool and these this is kind of like the clone stamp tool in Photoshop um, if it we'll get again we'll get into more of those this is the eraser tool and uh, these three tools that we just went over those are paint tools and you use them when you're painting out um, for like uh, comp, uh, comping and stuff like that visual effects this tool over here is the roto brush tool and then you've got the puppet tool so it's about time that I guess we end this tutorial part of the tutorial it's been 10 minutes so um, I like to keep them a little bit shorter that way you can like go through and pick different uh, tu tutorials and not have to sit through a long tutorial to figure out just one thing so maybe you just wanted to see the preferences or whatever or maybe you just wanted to see what the tools were so um, you can I'll try to keep them shorter and 
different and it's shorter smaller videos so you can just go to parts that you need and then you can also just watch them in order hey everybody welcome to another exciting after effects tutorial today we're going to be talking about importing and setting up folders within your project so that you are able to pass it on to another artist usually when you're working in a studio there is a production line and keeping everything neat and organized help speed up the process of the production line so the next person that gets your stuff isn't all confused about where everything is it's not a bunch of mumbo jumbo they know what they're going to and what they're looking for and it's good to have a good system so the first thing we'll start out with is uh, importing the quickest and easiest way for me to import is just double click over here in the project panel it brings up your import you can click on your whatever you want to import and then there's sometimes there's a twirl down menu that has more usually uh, you want to keep it on footage so let's open this up and uh, to quickly bring it up I'll just make a comp real quick put it on something interesting oh, this looks interesting and dangerous so that's exactly what I wanted so and then uh, another way to import is file import so click on file up there go to import file let's go to my images folder oh, this looks like a great one and let's see man he looks happy nice very studly looking all right now let's uh, go to another way is the hotkey control I on a Windows when I'm, I'm always using a Windows, uh, it would be Command I on a Mac. So let's import that. So you can import video, you can import, import images, you can import uh, image sequences, which kind of acts like video if you import them correctly. And then you could import PSDs, whole bunch of stuff. We'll uh, probably import different things throughout the uh, tutorial series. Also we can go over the project panel a little bit here. You can click on these columns to sort. So if you want to sort by uh, alphabetical order, um, sorting by type is pretty useful. You can uh, grab here on the corner when it turns into this double arrow and open it up you can see more tabs. The file path is nice because you can use that to figure out where your picture is supposed to be in case you moved it by accident you can cl click on up here on the corner where there is uh, this is called the project panel settings and you, there's different settings here you can add different columns if you would like um, I pretty much just keep it over here by the frame rate and this is basically the only information I really ever use um, down here, this is the interpret footage button, create a folder button, create a comp button, and this is the project settings button. If you click on it, it brings up the project settings, or you can alt click on it and it um, rotates between the different color depths. And this is the delete button, so we can delete whatever we click on there. Use this to scroll down here, obviously. And this is the quick search. So if I type in Bucky, it'll only show, it'll bring up everything that has the word Bucky in it, which is nice. It's very handy if you have a lot of stuff and, and folders, you can quickly find something and it's very useful. Now, when I was talking about folders, you want to keep things organized so you can pass everything down the pipeline nicely and there's no problems. So let's create a folder here. You name it. Um, you you always want to have a comps folder. Now, if you mess up and you don't type it in correctly, hit just hit enter, and you are able to just retype it in. But I didn't misspell it, which is good. And drag your comps into there. You want to create images folder. These are the three main folders that you should usually have, and a oop, that was the wrong button and a video folder 
you could do video you could say footage for images you could say pictures um, whatever your boss wants or whatever you feel comfortable with so I guess that's uh, a good overview of the project panel here and how to import things and uh, it's a good idea to remember everything oh there is one more thing that I would like to uh, show you the uh, when you click on let's say a movie or one of your images you get a bunch of information up here which is very helpful actually um, up here right here 352 by 240 is your resolution so that's how big the video is 352 by 240 yeah. and um, you get your frames per second which is which is nice you want to make sure that your frames per second match throughout your comp if you have 21 that's 24 and one that's 29.97 they're not gonna really gel and it's gonna look all weird 24 frames per second is usually for film and 29.97 is usually for television you have the length here what type of file it is and then you got all the rest of your information I mean I don't really use this audio information too much um, but you may need to use it since the video does have audio on it um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. Stop by for the next one where we're discussing something entirely new and exciting. Have a good one, everybody.